Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Guess who, numb nuts? It's me. <laughs> the master of Michigan. <laughs> Goat of Grand Rapids. The dominatrix of Detroit. <laughs> the thirst trap of Traverse City. Okay, we get it. Congratulations on your win in Michigan, Mr. President. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. But it wasn't just a win. Yeah. It was more than a win. It was a landslide. Yeah. Jimmy, I came in with 81% of the vote, which is much better, I'd like to point out, than I did in 2020. I got way more votes this time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. You, but, uh, uh, this time I absolutely crushed those who opposed me. Uh, sh- Mary Ann Williamson. She's not even running. And- <laughs> that weird other guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Yeah, what is that guy's but name? But most importantly, uncommitted. <laughs> yeah, right, uncommitted. That modern day Benedict Arnold. That crypto fascist monster, uncommitted. <laughs> that sly, slithering anti Semite, uncommitted. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely say his name <laughs> he had such a big vote, I wonder. You know, I wonder why Uncommitted is getting But listen, Uncommitted is not an actual person, sir. Yeah, I know that shithead. <laughs> <laughs> but it behooves me to talk about Uncommitted as if he's a person. It's always good to a uh, good move to personifying any set of ideas that may prove to be obstacles and then vilify them. No, Mr. President, uncommitted reveals the deep dissatisfaction in your own party with your stance on Gaza, represented by many voters in that state. Yeah, ingrates. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Ungrateful fascists. Yeah, so, so, boy, people are overusing fascists like Dr. Cornell West overuses brother and precious. Is fascism a kind of sauce? Yeah, I think it is. So, so people who oppose genocide are fascists now? Voting for uncommitted instead of me is a move in support of Donald Trump, who is a fascist. <laughs> oh, God. Who threatens to strip America of its beloved democracy. Yeah, yeah. And these people in Michigan are using their vote to express how they feel about something? <laughs> Jimmy, why do they hate democracy? <laughs> <laughs> they don't hate democracy, sir. They hate what they are seeing in Gaza, and they're not alone. The voters in Michigan who went uncommitted, largely Arab and Muslim voters, but not exclusively at all. Exactly. Thank you, Arabs <laughs> and Muslims. Sorry, but this is America. Yeah. They are not steering the boat here. Yep. They don't get to take over an entire fucking state. <laughs> Sorry that they don't like what they see, but I don't know, should have been born something else. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. You really don't care about their concerns, do you? I mean... Not really. Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> yep. I mean, maybe I'd listen to them if I knew for a fact that they supported Israel's right to exist and defend itself and rejected anti-Semitism in whatever funky way I define that term. But you and I both know that these are impossible standards for discourse, which is why we have them. Wow. Well played, sir, I must say. Thank you. I mean, even if I did want to talk to these people, have a a, a sit down at the halal shop or whatever over a beer. (laughs) (laughs) Do you realize what APAC would do? If I listen to Muslim concerns about the genocide in Gaza, APAC, grow up, man. So, So you admit it's a genocide then? Well, yeah, duh. Just look at it, and it's on television. They're not even hiding anything. Right, I know. But the point is, man, Jimmy, you always get me way off point. (laughs) The point is, in these scripts I write, the point is that we won big in yesterday, uh, yesterday in Michigan. I'm not worried about uncommitted. He can buzz off. We won. 
also I ate ice cream and made fun of Donald Trump on late night with uh, Seth Meyers. Yeah, wow. yeah you kind of yeah. held it like a microphone on uh. So my campaign is flying high. <laughs> Mr. President, many people have said your Michigan problems ain't going away. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, 81%. Yeah, but the numbers, the uncommitted vote was nearly 100,000 people. What if all those people remain uncommitted and stay home in November? Considering that Hillary Clinton lost Michigan in 2016 by around 10,000 votes, this could be a huge problem for you, especially if you're not going to address the problem. But, <laughs> but well, without Israel... No Jew is safe on planet Earth. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's usually where clapping goes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you guys? You, you, <laughs> you can't get yourself out of this predicament with that crap, Mr. President. Oh, man, this isn't fair. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Use your position as the most powerful person on the planet and demand a ceasefire. But Jimmy, as I stated before, now is not the time for a ceasefire in Gaza. So when is? I don't know, when Mr. Netanyahu says so? Yeah. Judgment Day? <laughs> yes. There are supernatural forces at work here, man. There's nothing supernatural about the hard numbers I just quoted you, sir. Jimmy, a long time ago, a wise woman once asked, where's the beef? <laughs> and it was a legitimate question. But here is the beef. The United States will stand by its ally Israel come hell or high water. Yeah. And now that we've literally seen what the hell part is, <laughs> yeah. we're ready for the high water. <laughs> 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 To my defeat at the polls, donors know that Donald Trump will do more or less the same thing that I will. And donors will see to that. That's how American democracy works, my friend. But vote for me because Donald Trump will destroy American democracy. There was a time when saying these sentences would have given me a massive headache. Yeah. But no longer. Because my brain doesn't work that way anymore. <laughs> I'm liberated from the burden of thought. <laughs> so I just do what they tell me. And now I'm going to trail off. Sleep sweet, my prince. <laughs> <laughs> and you too, Kurt. <laughs> Everything is going to be just fine. Uh, yeah. No beer at the halal shop. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> it's all dark. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of my money, I'm putting a lot of my money, my retirement money, into precious metals, gold and silver. Why? Because lots of people I trust with money, uh, Max Kaiser's one of them, he's a big Bitcoin guy, and he told me gold is a good hedge against inflation, and gold is a good hedge against the stock market, and so did um, Carol Roth said that, and then also, who's the guy who wrote the book um, uh, from Maui, my friend? I, why am I blanking on his name? Ed. He, Ed Dowd. So they all said this, so I'm with them. And um, so I'm putting that into this. And I decided to partner with our sponsor to do this, Colonial Metals Group. They help, they're they helping me set up a secure self-directed IRA where I have access to my assets no matter what the stock market and no matter what the government's doing. So let a team of experts at Colonial Metals Group help you protect your family's future. We've put together a special offer for our audience. Get this offer. Look, listen to this. You click on the link in the description below or call a special 800 number and you'll receive a safe, a safe and up to $10,000 in free silver. Then the number to call is 888-910-1419. 888-910-1419 or go to colonialsmetalgroup.com slash jimmy dash door dash show. 
Hey, come see us live on tour in Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, right outside Pittsburgh, El Paso, and San Antonio, Texas. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. (laughs) 